Peter Hunt. I'm from Act Up North Acting School in Manchester. But basically we provide acting classes for adults across Leeds, Liverpool and Manchester. I think the people that work for us who are really passionate about what they do and we bring in tutors from all over the UK to the north to work with the best, well, what we think are the best students as well. I'm generally a coffee person because some of those days can be quite long so I'd say a strong uh, espresso or maybe if it's a bit earlier on uh, a cappuccino. I'd say well, there's been a lot over the last five years but we just celebrated our fifth anniversary so uh, and had a huge party in Manchester at the Palace Hotel so I think it'd be bringing everybody that we've worked with over the last five years and our clients all together under one roof and being able to see everybody enjoying I suppose what we've built over the last five years. Three companies, I, one of the companies I'd recommend is Actors Headshots Manchester which provide great photography for actors um, based across the north and they're using more of those kind of modern images that are coming up from London without uh, the actors and you know celebrities or whoever having to go to London to achieve that product so it's supporting northern businesses. The other one is JB Shorts Theatre Company which provide a really kind of underground um, kind of theatre scene in Manchester giving actors the opportunity to showcase themselves but also for television writers to try something outside the box as well. Um, and the other one is Shred Productions who are a theatre company based in Manchester that help in um, regenerate the old Granada studio site and make it a kind of music theatre um, kind of event space as well so they're the three that I would look out for. One of the people that I think has had huge influence is Howard Bernstein um, and how he's helped shape uh, certainly the look of Manchester over the last few years uh, with the trams and the other buildings. Um, media related I think Nicola Schindler um, who runs Red Production Company um, who you know the drama input that they make in Manchester your Scott and Bailey's uh, your last tango in Halifax you know it really shapes what we watch drama wise on an evening and I guess even if you don't follow sport the third one has to be Alex Ferguson that again as I said if you're not a football fan it's a name that you know is associated with Manchester and with football which means so much to the city anyway. I've got a really good quote which somebody once told me when I worked with them which is there are no problems only solutions which I quite like which is no matter what kind of kicks off is looking at a way to resolve it as opposed to dwelling in the fact that something's going wrong so I think just kind of getting on with the job of solving any issues that arise and I think the other thing is knowing your own skills not attempting to do too many things knowing what it is that you're good at and sticking to that and I suppose bringing in other people that are perhaps better at those other things um, to help get the product done. You see there are so many from Northern Quarter and I quite like um, Spinning Fields now it's kind of all up and running but I'm going to go with an old favourite which is San Carlo on Deansgate which uh, reminds me of a certain time when I was working at Granada a few years ago but I still enjoy going back there because it seems that no matter what time of day you go there's always a nice kind of hustle and bustle um, of people there so I'd say there. My prediction for 2014 is the coming together of the Corner House with the Library Theatre Company um, to create Home, which is this new venture, which I think will help regenerate that end of kind of Whitworth Street that's not really used. Um, and I said I think it's an exciting time for kind of cinema and theatre to come together. So I think uh, Home, that new space on Whitworth Street, will be the one to watch.